Show me wax on, wax off. Yes! Man, I love the 80s. It was the age of E.T., Mr. T., and MTV. Back then, the world was still small. No cell phones or internet or Twitter. Your friends lived on your street, and your family were the people at your dinner table. If you're assuming these smiley, affectionate people are my family, they're not. We showed our affection in a different way. <laughs> this is how I remember the 80s. There were no parenting blogs or peanut allergies, just a whole lot of crazy. Oh, look at that little geek right there. Yeah, that's me, Adam Goldberg. We were the first on our block to get a video camera, and I used it to record my entire childhood. I'm home! The man parking his pants at the front door, that's my dad, Murray Goldberg. TV's mine! Ever since his last heart attack, he became determined to exercise, eat better, and not yell so much. It wasn't working. Stop with the camera! My super friendly sister, Erica. She loved to talk to people, just not us. Adam, what the hell? I'm gonna creep your face, Mom! Barry Goldberg, textbook middle child and classic overreactor. Si you're a liar, Simon! You are a liar! Stop videotaping! And finally, my overbearing smother, Beverly Goldberg, a homemaker, a ball breaker, who found the time to stay fit, raise the kids, and drive us all insane. <laughs> yeah, we were the family that yelled and cursed, but to this day, we still love each other. This is my family, the Goldbergs. It was September 3rd. It began as a typical morning in the Goldberg house. Hey, you don't know anything. He's not too old for me. He's in college, Erica. Wrong. He dropped out to start a band. Don't you feel stupid now? Mom, they don't sip. Can you help me with this? Oh, look at you. Oh, why go shopping when your sister's jeans fit you so perfectly? Fit me perfectly? They're horrible. They're rolling really in the hips and tight in the front. What about your shields? And she's beautiful. Look, you need to be grateful because one day I won't be here to help dress you. You keep saying that, but when? Stop. As always, my mom began the day by dressing us, feeding us, and ignoring any sense of human boundaries. Where's my baby? <gasps> Happy birthday. What do you want for breakfast? Try the seeds, please. Don't forget to wash your bottom. Barry was in a rare good mood. He was turning 16, a day he'd been waiting for his whole life. It's jingling. It's keys. Keys means car, car means freedom from all you monsters. I love you, Mom. What the hell is this? It's a locket. It's got my picture inside, so you can always have your mother near your heart. Sweetie, you're just not ready to drive. You're too immature and, quite honestly, a little high strung. I am not high strung! I'm strung just fine, like a tennis racket or a banjo you or... Know, I think it's great, because all the cool guys in my grade, they have mom lockets. Hey! All of them. Don't poke the barrel, right? You don't want to wear it? Fine. I'll throw it in the trash. Go ahead. Here I go. Do it. Go into the Do trash. It. Go ahead. Go in the go garbage. Mm-hmm. Unbelievable. You were going to let me throw this in the trash? Totally irresponsible. You're not driving. Oh, uh -oh. God. Dad, please talk some sense into your wife. She's saying some pretty controversial things over there. I agree with whatever nonsense your mother just said. Come on. This is not fair. Who the hell told you life was fair, you moron? Dad's colorful way of speaking may seem a bit harsh. It really wasn't. You just had to learn how to speak Murray. It's 2 a.m. I thought you were dead. I could kill you. You broke it. It's amazing. You little bastards ruin everything. For someone so smart, you sure act like an idiot. All right, stop your pouting. I got you something, and I think you're gonna like it. Ardeo Speedwagon, this is top 40. You don't know me at all. I'm in Giraffe, the poetry of the streets. Come on. No, no, no. I talked to the guy at Sam Goody. He said it was a hip track. Well, did you talk to Sam Goody himself? Huh? Did you? No. You talked to a random jagoff who knows nothing about real music. You weren't there, okay? The guy had an earring. He had a jean jacket covered in buttons. Covered! Don't get your father all worked up. I'm already all worked up. Honey, Calm breathe. down. Breathe. Breathe. I'm breathing. I'm breathing, okay? You're killing your father. I hope you're having a happy birthday. <sighs> Remember what Dr. Hong said? I know what Hong said. Jerry had one last visitor, my grandfather, Pops. It was 80 years of pure awesome. I hear someone turned 16 and could use a new car. Holy crap, for me? I don't love you that much. This baby's mine. You'll get my old one. Yes! No! I didn't get a car when I turned 16. What do you need a car for? With your looks, you can get a ride from any boy in town. Here you go. It was the moment Barry had waited for his whole life. His keys meant freedom, and no man could stop him. 
But my mom could. Not gonna happen, Dad. We've decided Barry can't drive. What? So, Barry has a car and no license, and I have a license and no car. That makes no sense. You know what else makes no sense? Those peach wine coolers I found hiding in your closet. Yeah, I never wear. This is the worst birthday ever! The only one who understands me is Flavor Flav. Who runs like that? What, we're having a drag race? What's with the bird car? Oh, my father thinks he's Burt Reynolds. The sexiest man alive? Yes, I do. Hey, kiddo, pick you up after school? Um, we're going to the Y to do some water aerobics. It's good for his circulation. Swimming was just our cover. Pops really took me to the House of Waffles to teach me the finer things in life. And you can't just go in and hunk them. It's all about the cuppage. Be gentle. Those puppies are sensitive. I just want to bury my face in them. We all do, but you got to earn it. Speaking of, where are we on Operation Waffle Girl? Her name was Zoe McIntosh. She was the complete package. Beautiful, older, and her dad was our family podiatrist. Okay. Last week we told her your name. Let's see if it's stuck. Oh, miss, could you top me off? No, no, Pops. Two balls. Pops, stop. No, no, we can't do this. I'm not ready. So, girl, the check, please. You got it, Alan. Did you hear that? She just called me Alan. That's not your name. I'll change it. I'm Alan now. Pops, you're a genius. Thank you, Jedi Master. <laughs> You're not making this easy, kid. Sorry. You're like my own personal Obi-Wan Kenobi, but instead of the Force, you're teaching me how to get freaky. Who's Obo Kenobi? Is that Barry? Barry, what are you doing? Eating day-old donuts. My friend Terrence, he's the manager. He leaves them out back for me. Why? It's called eating your feelings, ass bag. Mom's gonna walk me to the bus till I'm 40, all right? Put down the garbage crawler. I'm gonna figure out a way to get you that license and my car. Come on. Really? As we cruised in Pops' new ride, we felt like kings. It didn't matter that my mom said Barry couldn't drive. Our grandfather would fix that. He was always cooking up a plan in that brilliant mind of his. All right, Pops. You said you had a plan. What you thinking? Uh, uh... Pops, you okay? Okay, his mind wasn't what it used to be, but his appetite still was. So who wants nuggets? Pops was booked with reckless endangerment. We were all thrown behind bars. That is, until our mom arrived. Are you proud of yourself, locking up an old man and two little boys? God help the poor soul who tried to push us around. That was her Memorize job. Memorize this face, because it is going to haunt your dreams, sir. It is going to haunt your dreams. Are you guys okay? No, I'm not okay! I had to go! It was bad. I'm telling you, it wasn't my fault. The next morning, Mom lowered the boom and took Pops' keys. I'm not one of your kids, Bev. You can't boss me around. I do the bossing. Dad, I'm just trying to help you. Your mind is not what it used to be. As always, the neighbors came out to watch. Oh, hello, Gina. Why don't you take a picture? It'll last longer. For the record, Gina, that's my mom's best friend. Uh, can I go now? I've got a date with Shirley Nagel. She's got 12 grandkids, so you know she puts out. Cut the crap, Albert. Okay, cut it! It's all life. You lose your keys, Barry gets some keys. It's the circle of driving. It looks like I better get on home and take this all in. Can I have the keys? No! You're out of my will! You're out of my will! That's right, we'll see who croaks first! Wait, 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 wait. Does this mean I can drive? No! Yes. Yeah, hon, I said Barry was not ready and you agreed. In my defense, I wasn't listening. Whenever my dad disagreed with my mom, this would happen five minutes later. Who watches Adam sleep in case his asthma kicks in? Me. She'd guilt him into submission. Who bought the family a new hamster because you sat on Herbie? Me. But not this time. See, my dad always had a soft spot for Barry, so he decided to help the kid. do all the dirty work that you don't want to do. Bevy, you live for those things. And now that the kids are growing older, your whole world is falling apart. My world is fine, thank you very much. Okay, if you got no problem letting go, then I'm gonna take Barry for a driving lesson. Oh, you two stuck in the same car together? That'll go well. Good luck not flipping out. I don't need luck. I'm gonna teach him good. I'm gonna parent the shit out of him. Barry, Daddy's gonna teach you how to drive. Seriously? Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Baby's driving. Unreal. Uh -huh. I raised the moron. 
My dad was determined to do the impossible, not yell. Just stop you're screaming at me, okay? Oh God. The brakes. You're what riding the brake. You gotta put your foot on the gas sometime. You go so slow. Let him pass. Who? The guy on the moped. Let him pass. Go ahead. Let him pass. Go ahead. Okay. All right. Now we're going to make a right. Before we get to the right, turn on your signal. Not the wiper. Not He's just smearing everything around. What oh, is this? Come you on. Let me out of this car, man. I can't die for a cup of field. Shut up, okay? You want to die? I'll kill you right now. Huh? Hey, I'll kill both of you. Do not hit the child in the back. That's way too advanced. Too advanced. Turn off the wipers. Make a U. We're going home. Home? No, no. This is my one chance to get my license, and I'm getting it, all right? You blew it. Stop the car. What are you doing? Go around. My son's a moron. Go around, just go! He's a moron! Get up, I'm taking a- No, no, you said it was my turn. Circle of driving. Open up! No! Open no, up! No! Open no, up! No! 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 Ah, you can't stay in there forever! Forever? No, but 20 minutes? Absolutely. Mary, the cop just said he's gonna tow the car! Well, I would too! God! And then, things went from bad to worse. My mom arrived. Who called her? I'll give you a hint. It was me. Barry, open up. Get out. Get out now. Get out. Get out. Let me in. Let me in. You're not going to get punched. Come on. We'll go for pizza. You want to go for pizza? Ice cream, too. Let me in. Let me in. So this is what happens when you're in charge, huh? Citywide traffic jam? Whose world is falling apart now? Oh Shut up! Oh, Albert, these kids adore you. Talk to the boy. Absolutely. Fight the power, Barry. You can drive. It's a God-given right. In that moment, my dad expected my mom to go nuclear. But then she did something even worse. This is your mess. You clean it up. She left him in charge of Barry. I respect nothing! In all the chaos, Pops and I were able to sneak out to work on Operation Waffle Girl. Welcome back, boys. What'll it be? I don't know. What do you think, Alan? Let's pull the trigger. Two Monte Cristos, all the trimmings. <clears throat> all that fried meat and cheese. Mom? You're gonna be on the ball for hours. Mom, leave now, go! I'll come back. Oh, I see what's going on. Someone has a crush. <laughs> so adorable. Not gonna happen. Here Excuse we me? Go. Well, I have to draw the line somewhere. Erica's rushing off to college, Barry wants to drive, and now you want a date? <laughs> you still play with toy robots. They're go-bots. And one day, they'll be worth millions. They weren't. Baby, you're not ready for girls. You don't even have pit hair. I have three. I didn't. Dad, how could you encourage this? Because he's in sixth grade. Loosen your damn grip, Bev. Yeah, I'm a man now. A man with needs. And I need so inner sweet, delicate boobs, and you can't stop me. You're out of my will! Whatever that means! This is your fault, you know. If I knew that's why you drove him here, I never would have allowed it. You want to know why I won't give up my license, Bev? You want to get with Shirley Nagel. Yes, we get it. Shirley Nagel, are you kidding me? I got that locked down. But if you take away my car, you take away my time with my grandson. Getting waffles with that little guy, it's the best part of my week. Oh, Dad. I didn't know that. You'll make it right, Bev. I know you will. As my mom realized she had to let go, my dad decided it was time to get more involved. I guess you were right, okay? Looks like I'll never drive. Any dummy can learn to drive, even a dummy like you. Come on, Dad. You got me an Ario speed wagon tape. You don't know anything about me. Trust me, I do. I know you go through life feeling all angry, let down, misunderstood. I get it. Wow. That's... yeah. Do you ever cry in your pillow? No, I don't cry in my pillow. Who cries in their pillow? Not me, I don't. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna talk to your mom and tell her that she's gotta let you get your driver's license. Really? Yes. Thank you. And can you also convince her to get a hobby? Knitting, break dancing, anything besides us. Yes, I'm working on it, kid. Turns out our dad tonight. did have a good heart after all. Dance. He just had to open it up once in a while. You know, I, I don't say it a lot, but you're not a total moron all the time. Can I drive? No! 
Oh, come on. Not on your speed wagon. Seriously? Hey, this is good stuff, okay? I've been listening to it. What started out as friendships getting stronger. Come on. They have the strength to let it show. Here we go. Join me. I can't stop this feeling anymore. I've forgotten what I started fighting for. Look at you. It's time to bring the ship up to the shore and roll away the oars forever. Nothing. Those are kids' baby blankets? You got me. I sometimes I smell them when I feel sad. That's not weird, is it? Well, a little weird. Yeah. My world is caving in. I mean, I've given those kids everything, and now that uh, they're growing up and don't need me as much, what do I have? Me. I'm not going anywhere. All right, let me have a, a sniff. about the diner they just opened this place i think you may like it and with that the circle of driving is finally complete Raised a moron. <laughs> Classic. You're aggravating me, you little bastard! He's aggravating me, you little bastard! The sexiest man alive? Yes, I do. But I'm drinking tonight. <laughs> don't forget to wash your bottom. I don't believe you. You're really a jackass. Stop videotaping! Get out! Mom, stop! Swear. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Mullen Ackerman and Bradley Whitford star in the series premiere of an all-new comedy, Trophy Wife, starting right now.